Uh, welcome everyone to another episode of the Toy 2 Heart of Darkness! A Heart of Zombies! What, 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 what? Okay guys, we are back here in this episode of Awesomeness where we are fighting the British, the French, the Dutch, and the Portuguese. Otherwise known as the, uh, uh um, <laughs> the, what was it? Oh yeah, the Europe, the European Coalition of Safe Zones. Basically, these are the guys that are trying to take down my Americanness and to try to stop my expansion of awesomeness. Um, should I even say that they're not going to succeed? Should I even hint that they're not going to succeed? It seems unfathomable that these guys would even try to go against me and my might. It's just unquestionable that they would try all their hearts to try to face against me when they know they will not win. <sighs> Makes me sad that during this zombie apocalypse world, people have lost realism. The realities of life. And the finer things of knowing a couple basic life lessons, such as America is the greatest, and America will always win when it comes to this world. So, they will soon all be crushed underneath the American might, and we will soon have a very blue world. <laughs> ah. So, anyways guys, um, yeah, I'm just ca just casually just conquering everything, and one thing I should probably mention, I'll start the game while we're doing this, is um, we can now colonize here, which is so awesome. I finally get to do this state, it's so gonna be so awesome, I finally get a lot more iron resources and everything, and I've been wondering for a lot of episodes why my factories have been closing, and, you know, somebody mentioned in a comment saying, hey, you should probably check out, um, you know, you should probably check out what the resources you know, what resources did your factories need? And this is a little bit loud. Let me turn that down. Okay. What resources your factory needs? Okay. And I was like, uh, okay. Okay, I'll check that out. So I check out what resources my factory needs, and I come to find out that my factory only needs about... What was it? Uh, iron, coal, and sulfide. In fact, I'll show you guys. Mostly it's iron, cold, and so far. There is a couple dye departments in there. Um, I might have to actually look into that. But the reason why I'm not going to look into anything else of the um, iron, coal, and the... Uh, uh, what was it? I, I named another one. I can't remember it right now. But anyways, the reason why I won't look into that is because most of the coal in the world is in America. Most of the best places to mine it are in America. And I'm not seeing what the problem is. In fact, some of the best iron deposits in the world are in America. Um, there are positively no other places in the world that have better iron deposits. So, I don't know what they're thinking, and I don't know why they keep giving me these, these quests or something, but seriously. America's fine. My economy, I may have, I may not be, well, I don't want to say that. My economy is the best it needs to be right now in this day and age. I mean, my economy is already like, well, let's see. The second biggest contender, I think, was France in terms of economics. Yes, I mean, no, Great Britain, sorry. Great Britain's the second most biggest contender, and they only have 13. 13. I have one, I have 620. Yeah, I don't, I know I should be micromanaging this a lot more, but let's, let's be honest, people. This campaign, this run of Victoria 2 with the uh, zombies, isn't really about, you know, being the most efficient. It's more about just kicking the butt out of every other country in the world, or they try to ho hopelessly reclaim their former government and power. I'm not letting that happen. I am totally being a jerk to them and being like, nope, you want to establish your own country? You first have to pay America $400, which actually isn't that much, $400,000 before you get to be your own um, I'll call it codependent country underneath America. So, yeah. I'm being... This has always been our goal is to conquer the rest of Europe, and we're basically going to do it in about a couple good, you know, like, quick blows. And one thing I did forget to do, which I, f I was completely shocked that I forget to do this, I forgot to go invade this island right here. 
you know, conquer some of this over here to go get some of their land. Excellent! Um, let me get some of... What do I want? See, I'm lacking most in commercial, so let's get some commercial, like, income efficiency. Some taxes would be nice, but what I think I'm going to go do is actually go invade the Jamaican Islands and add, the Jama and add Jamaica as a war goal. Because Jamaica... Jamaica has a lot of sulfide on it, which could help with all kind of... Because I did notice there was a sulfide deficit somewhere in one of my colonies. Now, like, right here, this one does not say it has sulfide. So, maybe if I get sulfide on Jamaica, they might be like, Oh, yeah, we found their sulfide. Plus, who doesn't love steel drums? I mean, pa 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 That'd be so much fun. Like, <laughs> I'd be using... I'd be using Jamaica for just using steel drums all the time. Okay. And it seems like we have a couple good, like, French armies around here, so let's go start crushing them. Like, France is actually getting its stuff together, which is not good. So let's go start crushing their dreams of an actual empire, and go start killing off their soldiers that have apparently routed in the last couple days. Yeah, let's go destroy their army. Yeah. Kind of feel like it, kind of feel pretty mean right now, but they have to learn that they shouldn't build an army. Yeah. Don't put an army around me, friends. I will destroy it. Uh, oh, look, there's another army. Let's go destroy that, too. Yay! <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, guys, I think my people are having war fatigue. I'm gonna have to put them back in my land for a second to get them out of it. Okay? Oh, gosh. <laughs> give, them about, give them about a month or two of recovering. They should be fine. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see. Let's see, the Great Wars! So, Handen Dunchman has discovered Great Wars. Good job. Okay. And you guys have conquered everything I need you guys to conquer, so we should have a 100% war score. And I think I'm going to peace out Denmark right now because I don't really think. I don't really think these guys need to be in it. These guys are. I'm not really going to steal anything from the Netherlands. Wait, I, I saw it, guys. I didn't mean Denmark. I meant the Netherlands. I was thinking Dutch in my head, and that's why I got mixed up. So, um. Netherlands, Netherlands, yeah, we don't need to have them in the war. Um, is anyone else we don't need in the war? If we have the Zimbabwe people come out, no, the the puppets of the other big powers. Okay, yeah, we're probably not gonna get them out of the war. But Great Britain, I'm gonna start adding more to you. So where is Jamaica? Jamaica is part of the Caribbean islands. Add another war goal, and we're just gonna keep. <laughs> I think at the end of this campaign, we're gonna own so much from like France. I mean, not from France, from uh, Great Britain, because I plan on taking a ton. So. Just be prepared for that, people. Just be prepared for that. And the Trail of Tears! I can still do the Trail of Tears. And after I learned about the, uh, Worcester versus Georgia and the Cherokee Nation versus... versus, uh... Georgia... Heck no, am I doing the Trail of Tears! Yeah, <laughs> I grew a conscience in the last, like, couple of episodes, people. Okay, no. You don't get to escape from me. Wherever you were. Where was that army? There it is. You don't get to escape from me. When I want to destroy you, you're gonna die. Ha ha. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, you still alive? No, you're dead. Okay, now go over here and go start destroying that. Okay, now we have Chitikawa as one of our newest places. Yes. So now this has finally joined the Americanists. It should actually grow to be American pretty quickly because it's right next to the frontiers, which actually are pretty Yankee. Okay, Chitikawa can be upgraded to a protectorate. That's good. And, uh, the Gonson, Gonson will be a core, that's good. And we could start probably expanding down all the way to Mexico. We could probably take over all of America. And be officially, like, the United States of America. Not just, like, for Northern United States, but actually for the entire United, for the entire Americanists. We'll be called the United States of Americas. Nah, that sounds kind of stupid. United States of America sounds really good, but... Yeah, the United States of America, that just sounds silly. Just silly. Okay. So yeah, we're just slowly conquering all of the land that the British have. I have a couple troops over here. Um, let's see. What region do I need to conquer? Let's see. Jamaica's a part of this region or Caribbean Islands? So let's see. What else is part of Caribbean Islands? Is this part of Caribbean Islands? Yes, it is. So we're going to go over here, go conquer some of these islands over here. Hopefully this is all just two islands because... I Island hopping is quite annoying. Um, yeah, island. Yeah, islands just are really annoying to just like deal with. Okay, and let's see. We're conquering the rest of the places over here. We should get a lot of ticking war score. I'm just gonna say that now. I mean, 
acquire Alice Laureen. I should have it in a couple days, so that should go away, and then we have just complete another ticking war score, and then they should all realize that they probably should not fight America. And when America wants something, you better give it to it, otherwise America will go in and go destroy you. Okay, so now let's go and upgrade all of our factories, and we should actually be, uh, now that I'm reminded of this, we should also be increasing our naval dependency on naval bases, because we still, we still have to keep getting better and better, um, what is it called? Better and better colonial range so that we can keep doing more and more stuff. And Havana is where I made this base. Right here in His Española or Porto, Porto Le Ponce is where I built the uh, other ones. Yeah, we're just going to keep expanding everywhere. We also have one right here in uh, Hawaii. Aloha. And Hawaii. Let's see. Uh, what else do we need? We need one right over there. We just keep expanding everywhere. This one's expanding, this one's expanding, this one's expanding, this one's expanding, this one's expanding. Uh, give me one second, people. Okay, sorry about that, guys. We had a little bit of confusion here and there with some ordering and stuff like that. But we're back in the game, and I'm just going to be upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. Yeah, we're going to have so many new ports, and oh my goodness, I haven't, I haven't even upgraded any of like the these ports down here oh gosh we have so much to do so much to do but I think I my capitalists are keeping up on infrastructure right yes they are good job guys you guys are keeping up pretty well with infrastructure that's nice that's good okay so let's continue the war this awesome war that we're all involved in right now <sighs> where'd the music go where did the sound effects go what? What's happening here? Oh! I had the sound effects off. That's what happened here. Okay. Okay, that 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 might that kinda made me feel stupid there. Alright, let's just keep let's just keep moving into France, destroying whatever hopes they have of having an empire. Oh gosh. And apparently I have to Again! Zombies go into debt. I wonder who's gonna enforce that debt. It's not America. That's what's something I can tell you. It's definitely not America. This loyal regiment. Ladies, lazy natives need to learn how to adapt. That's all I gotta say. Uh, wickedness must be stamped out. Let's see. What do I need for the next, like, colonial range? Can I need 80% power? I should be getting a lot of power here soon from, like, um, some of these. Iron and blood. Dig deep and greedy. Oh, greedy. Lazy names will not adapt. Lazy names will not adapt. Okay, on pause it. Tax efficiency. That's good. Okay, market regulations. Yeah, now look at our economy. Okay, let's see. We got that. And now we're going to go over here where we can't. We're just going to get on back on the islands. Okay, well, we're going to go over here. And yeah, I am playing this really, really inefficiently. Like, seriously. I should be, like, micromanaging everything. Like, these soldiers over here. I should be, like, instantly trying to conquer but I'm just uh, I feel like America needs to take it easy right now we don't with the whole zombie apocalypse thing going around and the fact we still don't have a cure I mean you know I think we just relax for sometimes and let's see what does what do you guys want Alice Lorraine, New Brunswick and Aquatic Caribbean Islands okay so you guys will basically give me exactly what I want but is that all I want well I actually don't know because actually I'm going to do this I'm actually going to colonize the rest of this over- Holy shoot, when did they get over here? Huh. They actually did something. Who would have known? Um, let's see. Is there anything else I might want from this in England's war? Uh, nope. Apparently they will not give me peace, so... Let's see. Give me everything I want. Yeah. Everything. So, yay! We have expanded a little bit. Factories output, yes! And yes! Oh, sweet. Now America doesn't look so weird any anymore over here. Now we look like an actual cool country. Oh, gosh. Look at that American expansionist. And look at all this American expansionist. I basically own all of South America. American South America, may I add? <laughs> I own all of Jamaica now, too. Glorious day, glorious day. Oh, gosh, I own that, and then I also own 
this little piece of Alice Lorraine for no particular reason other than I wanted to own it. Like, we could have not, we didn't have to own it, but we owned it because we wanted to. So I have to now see who am I at peace with. Uh, I could go to war with Belgium again, or Bavaria again, but Bavaria, and I can actually annex them this time, so let's go do that. Uh, and whoever gets dragged into the war, I'll also annex them. Uh, great day, great day for America, great day, great day for America. Uh, okay, so let's do that, and more Crusaders must be stamped out. Okay, now that this is all good, we open all my factories. Um, let's see, how are we doing in terms of taxes? No tariffs, that is good. Um, somebody was like yelling at me yesterday for like projected daily balance. Oh, you guys really don't think I am an expert at this game, do you? Because you guys always think I'm like, oh yeah, James, you, do, don't, you don't do this right, you don't do that right. I'm, trust me guys, I'm pretty good at this game. It's just right now I'm taking it like the ultra easiest I can because this is like so easy, I don't even really have to do anything. Which is probably why I'm making more mistakes than usual, but... Anyways, um, right now I think we do have to decrease like the money we're making because we're making a little bit too much. I think. Ah! Oh, curse you guys! Why? Why are you guys always here in every single one of my playthroughs? Just you always. It's it's always them. It's always the Jacobsons. Oh my goodness! You guys are terrible. Okay, you guys get back in America. Okay, you guys get back in America. Okay. Alright, seems like I'm going to have to build an entirely new army again, by the way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then put two of these guys in charge. And one, two, one, two, three, four, five. And then we have one engineer. And that's my standard army for almost anything I do, if you want to know. And my people should start to crush all these rebellions pretty quickly. Um, and I just realized, if any zombies spawn inside my land, they'd probably be the most powerful zombies in the game. So, that'd be pretty bad for every other country in the world. Gosh dang it, these guys. I, uh, like, seriously, what did I do to deserve this? I give you guys freedom, I protect you guys from zombies, what do you guys want more? I, I mean, is there even more I can even do? Seriously, I'm... Uh, I, I feel like my people are just ungrateful, guys. I mean, just ungrateful. They, can't, they just can't admire whatever I've done for them. Which has been totally more... Oh, come on. Now, now, this is, now this is starting to become a little bit of an issue. Okay, time to break out the uh, mobilization. Massive mobilizing. Because now it's done. Now I just... I'm getting a little bit annoyed. Okay, you really want me to... If, they really want me to break out my mobilization. So I'll break out my mobilization. You guys will see I have a way bigger army than you. You you guys can try to fight me, but I will always have a bigger army. Internitial, Zambar. Oh, gosh. Sometimes, yeah, I really... This is something I cannot justify them. I really wish they had fixed the rebel, the rebel problem in this game. I mean, it's not even, like, fair in terms of EU4. This is just, like, annoying amounts of rebels. Oh, and they're coming for us, guys! Those Bombarian guys are coming for us! Those Bombarians with their beer and... I I've heard that they actually make beer, so I'm just gonna go with that. So, they make beer, and that's about, that's about as much as we know. They make beer. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep colonizing down here. See if I can link up America and America to make... USA instead of just South America and America. Um, I'm also mobilizing all my units and brigades, which apparently aren't that much because I think the people will actually be voting against me. That stinks. Okay, let's just start grouping up some of these armies. Yeah, I think the people are a little bit against me because I have such a high amount of infamy, but I don't care. Because you know what? I don't get to. Uh, this game is so much fun. It's just so much more fun when you get to play it like this. The No Infamy game. The No Infamy game where you just like completely destroy anyone that you don't like and you like beat up anyone that you don't see as a important person in 14 American Cup Cutter. Okay. And you just do whatever you want. It's such a like nice feeling. Time saving measures. Yay! Boo! Daylight savings. Mmm. Okay. Go destroy as many of these guys as you can. Just keep fighting them all. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I, I have a lot of little tiny armies I should be managing. Okay, yeah, this is a this is a good micromanaging army. You guys go hunt down all those rebels. You guys go combine right over here in the mountains. Okay. Okay, you guys go combine with those guys. Yeah, we have a big army. Like, it's not like we have a smallish ish times of army. We just have to, like, organize it. There we go. Go hunt down whatever you can. Uh, now, it's a good thing these aren't zombies. I'd be really, really sad if these were zombies. Because then I'd be like, you guys let zombies in too. You ungrateful, uh... Let's see, what are you guys really angry at me about? 1.7... Okay, so 13 want trickler healthcare, of course. We all have, we have old people in our place, so they want trickler healthcare. I can give that. I might call me strong enough for that. There you guys go, you got trickling healthcare. Now please stop being so angry at me. Because it's kind of stupid. Really it is. I'm like the freest country in the world. Apprehended Gamoa, yay! Now the U.S. pops in there where culture is, uh, does that mean Native Americans as is accepted culture? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! That's awesome. Now, like, almost a lot of our, our places will now be accepted. That is awesome. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay. Okay. The world will live, guys. The world will live. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. The world is now right again. Okay, the Battle of Conroy is all going great. The Grievous Insults! <gasps> I really can't. No, just do whatever you guys have to. Just, hey, don't, just don't make me angry. That's all I'm asking. I mean, if, if you guys seriously give me grievous insults, I'll go kill you. Okay. Let's see. Is there anyone else in the group in the armies? Nah, it seems like we got most of this underneath our control. The Panama Islands. Is Panama all ready to become a state? <gasps> oh my goodness! Panama has become a state. It is the 57th state in the union question mark and Caribbean islands you guys are gonna become a uh, state too 58th state oh gosh <laughs> I'm with that guys well thank you guys for watching this was fun and I'll see you guys next time